chilly morning today right here by the Mexican border I'm gonna do a short little hike right from where we were camped to some benchmark in a border monument beautiful sunrise this morning great way to start the day so I guess those windmills are in Mexico Spotted some horse poop and then actual horses. I'm guessing wild ones. Should be coming up on this benchmark pretty soon. Looks like we're about at the top of the hill. I think we're at the top. Do a little dance. Windy too. So there is a pretty good wall already, at least here. It even has a door. Mexico or the U.S. will bust you if you destroy this thing. So don't do it. Easy as getting through, just right there. Except for the majestic beasts you see in the Rose Parade. Just about back. Sort of made for a nice little elevated campsite. And I think there's one problem. Yeah, it's not bad. Looked a lot worse from down below. I think I could get around this. No sweat. Well, that didn't take long to get back to civilization. We're going for a gray mountain, and appropriately, the skies are gray. A little parking lot here by the gas stations. Following a pretty decent little trail, complete with barbed wire already bent out of the way for us. Dealt with a lot of this other buckthorn-like stuff, or buckhorn cactus, yesterday. But today we got teddy bears to watch out for too. Yippee. than yesterday. Smaller rocks too. Interesting little summit block indeed. 
We climbed up over here on the right and we both descended this little crack here. Well, that was fun. I think we're gonna head off to our next target, which is out there. I think it's Round Mountain. Alright, on to the last one for Bob for the day. Then I'll be on my own the rest of the weekend. This little berm here is no match for my car, thank goodness. So here's the Carrizo Gorge Railway. Doesn't look like it's been used much lately. Should be safe to explore tomorrow. I see a bunch of barrel cactus, but no teddy bears. So yay. Going pretty good, we're approaching this cliff band. Could be difficult, could be fun, who knows. Time for one more. Jacumba Peak up there. This is where the old Carrizo Railway runs, and there's some old cars parked here. This looks like an old Amtrak car here. and a couple of locomotives too. So here's the summit. And this trailer, looks like there's a seat contraption, whatever it is. that thing way out there. Looks like it could be fun. back. No shortage of hedgehog cactus around here. Too bad they're not blooming right now. Here come the train tracks. Alright, time to 
take Bob back and start off on my own adventure. Okay, after a brief little visit to El Centro, headed up S2, which travels through this wind farm right here. just sandy. So we'll see how far this goes. Definitely a bit more distant than the last. So you don't look at the bushes, you just look at the rocks. Pit. Be a pretty cool place to stay. Cool little narrow slot here. This doesn't look like a good place to stand for very long. Keep going and see what's around the next curve. That was interesting. Not too hard though. For me anyway. This is definitely what you call a slot canyon. Definitely have to check this one out further someday. Here's the reverse angle.
I'm sure that's just scratching the surface of that canyon. But it's time to move on. Just drove up another little side canyon. This one I was able to drive up a bit further. That other one was just a couple hundred feet off the main road. This one could be a quarter of a mile or more. Looks like it gets really narrow again and there's a campfire ring right in the middle of the road. So I think that means stop here. So let's take a look at this one. squeeze the car up through here. There's something blooming. I want to say it's the creosote bush. The flowers, whatever it is. Whatever this little guy is, he's got some buds. I saw a few ocotillo in bloom earlier too, down at the lower elevations. Granted, we're dropping a little lower now. This has definitely not been a good year for flowers in the desert. Too little rain, too late. This could be an interesting spot to come if we did get another good rain. See lots of dead growth. So in the right conditions, it can be pretty nice. Looks like it could be some pretty good scrambling, but I think the rock is pretty crumbly. So I don't know if I'd trust it very much. held. The other one I tried didn't. Oh, that whole thing's coming out. <laughs> Better leave it alone. This little canyon too. This one starts to get pretty steep and rocky right off the bat. So I think I'll head back on in another wind blasting up there just yet. I made it out here to this junction. More significant trouble. A little sand and a few rocks to dodge, but definitely the crux of is where we stopped. Right here. By far. Sure looks like there's a lot of stiff roads out here to explore. I don't know where I'll head next. 
next. with some signs. teddy bear forest over there. I wonder if that big mountain out there is Whale Peak. Sure was a prominent one. Yeah, I see an Ocotillo blooming right there. Somehow I don't think so. Looks like there's a few people camping just over this little hill. More teddy bears out that way. side road here soon that I may want to check out too. Yep, this might be it. I think my map just says Arroyo here. Doesn't say which one. Looks like this road just goes a little way, starts twisting and turning and then ends. Well, let's go check that out before we head this way. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool. Some more little side canyon to go poking around in maybe. Couple of cutouts here from the water racing down here. Road still going. Guess that's what it looks like when a piece of the wall breaks off. about there. Looks like some more broke off there. There's another
another little side canyon. See how it eroded away the berm to flow into the main one. I'm beginning to think this wasn't going to end. I guess it hasn't really, but uh, all of a sudden there's a big rock in the middle of the road. A couple of them. One is loose, but the other one looks like it's in the ground. So I managed to get myself turned around. I could probably get by if I had to, but I think I've had enough of this canyon. It does keep going though. Well, it keeps going. It does make me wonder what's at the top of this, if there is a top. This little side channel goes through a little tunnel here. showed an end to this arroyo about a mile away. So I changed into some better shoes and I'll check it out. Well, phooey, this is about where I show it ending. And it's clearly still going. So I guess we'll go a little further. Well, it did suddenly get narrower. Those vehicle tracks kept going, but I don't see them now. Maybe going into another slot canyon here. Yep, no end in sight. So I guess the end of what was on my map data is just the end of the drive. Okay, back at the car now. I think that's about enough excitement for the day. I'll head on back to the road and probably head straight to the overlook after showering. Driving out here, I just spotted a couple little friends. Aren't you guys cute? Mojave Aster, maybe? I saw a junction as I was driving up. I thought maybe it just went to a little camp area. Looks like it's a whole nother fork of the canyon. I'm not going to go up any further, but uh, this looks like something else worth exploring up here. Anticipated heading to today. This is Palm Spring. There are some palms and a lot of greenery. So is there some water? Well, yeah, but yeah. Like it's spilling out a little bit. Could have been from the rain, too. That ain't iced tea. 
since the water from the spring looks about as good in the jug as it does in the pond. Well, good thing I don't need any. 